cannot believe we've got this sort of weather again second day this week it's never like this never it's always sunny but now when you do this challenge all of a sudden the weather changes you know and you're not charging your battery at home that much there will be another one or two kilowatt hours coming today and we are at 160 kilometers only here so i will use 60 kilometers at least today at least until we get home so it's not good anyway guys welcome back to another video here in on unplugged tv <laughs> i'm gonna say welcome back to another video here on unplugged tv not so sunny hot australia day three of the off-grid charging challenge yes welcome <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wish. 990, 146. So 14 kilometers down for a 15 kilometer trip. I try to be as efficient as possible. 117. Super nice. Lunch break. 139 kilometers left. And two century events. Oh. So let's have a look. 139 kilometers is 39 percent okay um if we get this one into the better route planner now go back settings departure if i say we've got 39 percent okay so from work to mount whitestone to the customer and from there back home which will be which will be 54 kilometers holy shit so we should arrive with 26 percent at home that's good that's far more than i was expecting actually i thought we're getting down with under 20 percent but 26 is good and uh, it's just getting a little bit more sunnier now but it's still cloudy so this whole morning there was nothing coming to the solar so i'm expecting not more than two to three kilowatt hours and if we run the irrigation pump again and everything else we run down the battery again like yesterday but i need to go back to work tomorrow so we need to have a commute of 30 kilometers left for tomorrow ah, should be fine should be totally fine okay let's see how accurate this actually is later on when we go to mount whitestone all right we are still on 36 percent for people who are actually using the percentage instead of kilometers i mean what does 36 percent tell you how far can you drive with 36 percent and we will see if we are coming home with 26 percent actually what the a better route planner predicted so let's go had some rain after lunch but the roads are dry again so no increased consumption because of that but uh, yeah the clouds are really dense now and gray so I doubt we will see more than three kilowatt hours in the battery at home so there will be only very very limited recharge possibility when we get home we're at 118 kilometers now of range and we are still driving further away from home look at the 
this nice backdrop. All right, so we have now arrived here on the farm. 110 kilometers left. I probably will be here for half an hour at least, so the car will drop a little bit again. Maybe 109, and then we have to go back for another 40 kilometers or so. It'll be good for today, but tomorrow I'm a little bit skeptic that we can actually make it to work and back. All right, 6.30 we have. It took a little bit longer than expected. And it says 21% we are going home. Can we actually make it back here to the farm? Yeah, we can actually. We can do a round course. We would arrive here again with 10% on the farm if we would go from here to home and back. Oh, well, it should be safe then. Uh, the only concern is tomorrow, actually, when we have to go back to work. I'm not sure how much I can recharge tonight from the battery at home. So let's go there and find out. Uh, we are now back in Getten. Total consumption for today is 119 watt hours per kilometer. 51 kilometers driven so far. And we've got 88 kilometers left good. I'm drafting behind this truck here with 95 kilometers and consumption is still 118 watt hours per kilometer on the highway. Nice, nice. All right, there goes my truck. I'm turning here and insane 115 watt hours on a 63 kilometer journey highway country roads, city driving, amazing. Well, and here's the message again. Multiple cameras blocked or blinded. Clean cameras await for them to regain visibility. The car is not that dirty. Multiple cameras. All right, we made it finally home. 66.7 kilometers, 115 watt, oh, that is insane. That is insane. But we have only 76 kilometers left in the battery and I probably can recharge maybe to 90 or so. Probably 85 only, I don't know. Let's check the battery, come on. Well, we got only 25% in the battery. That's not good. And how much did we make today? Ah, oh, 3.5 kilowatt hours. So that's not too bad, actually. That's more than I was expecting. Look at this, 1.5 kilowatt. I have harvested with a 1.2 kilowatt system. Nice. Well, then it takes four days with such weather to uh, recharge the battery without using anything else, you know. So, uh, yeah, nevertheless, we plug in the car now and start charging and see how far we come. Oh, the inverter is humming. All right, here we go. Eight amps max, 12 kilometers per hour. Let's get charged. <laughs> it would take 12 hours to charge from here to 60% back, <laughs> 12 hours. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you still could recharge the car overnight, right? 12 hours, not too bad. So if we can recharge uh, well for an hour, we would have 86 kilometers all in total then. Would you go on a trip with 86 kilometers left? Well, I have to, that's part of the challenge, you know? So that's all I get tomorrow, but let's see how far we come. I drive the battery down to 10% with a claims here, and then we stop charging and see how much we will have for tomorrow. So guys, we already have a low voltage warning on the inverter. Here, yep, there it is. Uh, okay, so I think we have to stop charging the vehicle now. And ah, 86 kilometers, that's more than I was expecting actually. So we just stop charging, otherwise it takes another 10 hours and 25 minutes. <laughs> okay, stop charging. 
so the inverter calms down. 86 kilometers is our start range for tomorrow. <laughs> That's not very much. Well, theoretically, I drive only 30 kilometers tomorrow to work and back home. So we will come home with about 50 kilometers. It's a challenge. That's why it's called a challenge. I need to go to the post office tomorrow. Maybe it will be 35 kilometers maximum, hopefully. All right, guys, see you tomorrow then. Stay charged, stay safe, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, today we have charged 2.1 kilowatt hours into the car. I hope for a sunny, sunny day tomorrow. <laughs>